Okay. Let's come into our mountain pose. Feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead. Spread those toes out. Bring your sitting bones down and get the hips open. Activate your core and lengthen up through your spine. Arms relaxed, breathe. Exhale, tension. And just focus inward for a moment, getting into your yoga frame of reference. And then inhale, arms to shoulder level, stretch your fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands behind you. Just press the fingers toward the floor and lift your heart. Feel that upper body in the back bend. And then pivot at your hips. Exhale on over. Come into that forward position as deeply as your body wants. Straighten your legs as much as they will. Move your chin around. Get your neck released. And then bend your knees slightly and start at the bottom of your spine, winding your way all the way up and into another back bend, just lifting your heart. Shoulders down, head back. Take a moment breathing and stretching. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and take a moment feeling your body respond. Inhale, arms reaching out at shoulder level, hands to your chest, stretch to the front, shoulders down. And then clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. So shift the fingers one position over. Lift your heart again, stretch back, and pivot over once more. And feel that spine starting to work. And once again, just relax into it. Then bending your knees, wind all the way back up. And another heart raised, back bend. Just stretching out. Inhale, upright, and release. And again, just notice how your body is responding today. Side stretches. So let's keep one arm down, bring the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand right above your shoulder. Push the hands away, get everything stretching, and lean, no twist, over to the side. So keep the shoulder back. And push the fingers toward your knee. Push the foot you're leaning away from down. Get that side opening. And don't forget to breathe. And then inhale upright. Release that side. And bring the other arm out. Palm to the ceiling. Hand over your shoulder. Push away. And no twist as you lean to the side once more. Feel those ribs stretch apart as you push the foot down and the hand away. And just lengthen everything. And inhale upright, release that side. Feel the sides a little more open and get ready for our spinal twist. So get that base of the skull, base of the spine stretching apart. Arms at shoulder level, palms up, hands over your shoulders. Clasp your elbows, bring the arms next to your ears, sitting bones down, crown high, and turn to one side for your twist. Spread your toes, stretch your spine, and pivot over in the twist. Keep the weight on both feet evenly as you go down. Lift your sitting bones, keep the arms by your ears, and then slowly work your way up in the twist, into the upper body back bend. Remember, no pressure in that twisting low back. Take a moment and breathe, elbows back. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms around, balance it all out. Stretch the spine apart, turn to the other side. Take another breath, exhale over. And again, just take a moment there, letting everything relax with the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Keep breathing, and on an inhalation, come on back up in the twist into that upper body only back bend. Chest high, elbows back, shoulders down. Take a moment and breathe. 
And then inhale, upright, exhale around to the center, arms up, extended mountain, shoulders down, fingertips reaching, crown toward the ceiling, and don't forget to breathe. Swan dive, arms right at shoulder level, chest leading, come on over, pivoting into that halfway down, stretch. And then drop into ragdoll, just hang, letting those arms reach toward the floor as so much as they want. Or pull in hands behind your legs, get a good extra stretch on your back. And then arms to the center, just hanging as you wind back into the mountain pose. As you get there, just take a moment, breathe, and feel your whole spine more activated. Stretch the spine apart, and we'll do our little windmill, just gently moving hands from one side to the other following them around. So take a moment, stretching the spine as you're doing that, relaxing the shoulders, just following with your gaze as the hands go from one side all the way around to the other. Feel your spine, again, getting a little more activated. And then back to the center, we'll do the shoulders, backstroke and swimming. Bring those arms in close to your ears as they come up and around. Just maximize or minimize whatever your body needs. Exhale any tension. And bring both arms up, stretching high on one side. Come up on the opposite toe. So you're lifting that heel. Other side is straight, stretching through that whole side. Stretch it up toward the ceiling. Exhale that side down and bring the other one up. Again, coming up on the toe of the side, you're not stretching. So the side you stretch, that foot stays flat. Everything opens a little bit more along that side. Exhale down. Inhale, stretch the opposite side. Feel those ribs open. Exhale it down. One more time, up on the other side. Maximize for your body. Shoulder relaxed. And then bring both arms up, clasp the palms up toward the ceiling, and stretch. Bring the hands behind you, lift your head, look up, stretch the neck and the whole back of your body. And then come forward, pivot at your hips, keep the arms by your ears, stretch flat. And then release and drop down into red dot one more time. Take a moment there and then slide the hands up under your knees for our halfway up stretch. Elbows, knees, spine straightening. And exhale back into that flag. Move the hands to one side, a little twist. And then back to the center and to the other side. Another little twist. And back to the center. Arms hanging. Just gently again from the bottom of the spine, wind all the way up, shoulders back and down, coming into mountain pose once again. Spread your toes. And then bring the feet together. We'll bend the knees, hands above the knees, position don't support, so no pressure on the hands. And just circle those knees around, feeling your feet moving, your ankles moving, your knees moving, your hips moving, your whole body, lower body moving in as big a circle as you'd like. Remember, not beyond your toes with those knees. And then stop, go the other direction, circling. And again, no pressure, just a little gentle circle, feeling that work through the ankles, through the arches, the toes, the bottoms of your feet, everything getting a little massage. And then come back to the center. Find your focal point out in front and lift your heels, coming onto the ball of the foot area for a little balance practice. So find your balance. Spread those toes. And then roll back on your heel and up on your toes a few times, working the whole bottom of your foot. And then release. And come back up, feet hip width apart, 
into mountain pose. Take a moment feeling that lower body a little more activated. Clasp your hands behind your low back or bring the fingertips up between your shoulder blades from that reverse prayer position. Keeping the shoulders even, bend your knees toward, not beyond your toes, and then circle your hips. So just big circles with the hips as much or as little as your body wants to move. Feeling that lower body again, getting a little more roundedness, working through. Stop and go the other way with those hips circling around. At the moment, breathing. Let's feel everything getting a little more circulation. And then release, arms to your sides. Up there, breathing. And we'll do our pelvic tilts. So toes slightly out. Bend your knees, not beyond your toes, just gently. And put your hands above your knees. Again, position don't support, so your shoulders stay right above your toes. Stretch and straighten your spine, and then sink into the back bit. So push your ribs forward, your chest forward, and look slightly to the front. Whole body in a back bend with those sitting bones going up and back. Take a moment there, pushing into that back bend, and then tuck down and forward, pulling in the ribs, looking down toward the floor, forward bending with that little crunch there in that abdominal area. Spread your toes, no gripping. Inhale into the back bend, really dropping those ribs, opening the chest, shoulders down. Exhale, rounding forward, arching up with the ribs and the whole spine. Feel the pelvis moving into that pushing back position and then the tucking forward position. Just going through your range of motion, inhaling into the back bend and exhaling into the forward bend each time. Just landing, feeling the whole spine look. And the next time you're forward, just pause, inhaling and coming back all the way up into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get all the way up, feeling your spine even more activated. And don't forget to breathe. And keep those feet turned slightly out or turn them back out. And again, bend your knees toward but not beyond your toes. We'll do a little twist. So get your spine nice and straight and stretched apart. Take a breath in and exhale, turning into the twist. Lift the hip you're turning towards slightly as you bring the shoulder down toward your knee, turning your whole body to the side. Take a moment there, just breathing, stretching in the twist. Exhale, straighten things out back to the center. Lengthen, exhale, and again, twist to the opposite side. Shoulder coming down toward your bent knee as that hip on the side you're turning toward goes slightly up. Your whole body turning toward that side. And again, return to the center and straighten things out. Exhale around and keep the chin slightly in as you come back up. Turn your feet back straight into mountain pose. Spread the toes and bring your hands to your heart. Take a moment there, feel your body more activated and energized throughout. Inhale those hands toward the ceiling, looking up. Come into your back bend again, pulling the thumbs back as you look at them, lifting your heart, head stretching back. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivot on over, all the way into red dog. Just drop down, let it hang in red dog for a moment, and then hands up under your knees into that halfway up stretch, elbows, knees, spine straightening. And bend your knees, hands toward the floor, ragdoll once more. Palms together, inhale, and again, just come on up and into mountain pose. As we get back up, take a moment, just feel your body again, a little more activated. Shoulders back and down, and arms at shoulder width. 
Turn the palms up, spread the fingers apart, and we'll work the shoulders a little bit. So circles around, coming forward, or one direction anyway. Spreading out through the fingers, up through the crown. Big circles as you start. Spread your toes, no gripping with them, weight even on your feet. And then small circles, feel the difference. And then stop and turn your palms down, spread the fingers, and circle the other way. Again, big circles as you start. Keep stretching those fingertips out, head toward the ceiling. And small circles as you go. And then stop, arms at shoulder level. Keep the hips over the ankles and push to the side for that side stretch. Back to the center, over to the other side. And back to the center. Stretch it out. Bring your thumbs into the fists. Wrap your fingers gently around. Turn one up and one down. And then rotate. Keep pushing out through the fists right there at shoulder level. Now yeah, we're working those shoulders still. Feel the forearms, let them work with the fists, moving up and down. And then the upper arm as well. And then really get the shoulder into it, pushing forward as the fist goes down and rolling back as it goes up. Feel that all the way towards your spine, working those shoulders and the arms, rotating up and down. And then release the shoulders, just the arms moving. Oh yeah, those arms are fatiguing a little bit maybe. Okay, go ahead and release, just the fist moving up and down. Okay, tighten the fist, tighten, tighten, tighten. Push them out, both hands down toward the floor, spread it out. And fingers just slowly unfurling, spreading those fingers out. Pull the palms out and up. And shake your arms out totally. Oh, activating all that sensation through your arms. And back into mountain pose. Just take a moment, breathe in. Feel what's going on through that upper body. And bring your hands to your heart. Take a moment there, just focusing inward. Breathing deep. Inhale, hands toward the ceiling. And again, a little behind you for a back bend. Swan dive forward, pivot on over into ragdoll. Hands up into your halfway up stretch. Spread through the palms, through the fingers, through the toes. Stretch straight through the elbows, knees, and spine. And then bend your knees, coming to the floor, all the way down into child pose. Hands, palms up at your feet, or head toward the floor, chest bent. Take a breath. Shoulders down. Exhale in tightness. Then bring your hands out to the front, toward the sides of the mat. We're going to pivot up, slide those feet back, drop your hips, roll all the way onto your belly into a resting crocodile. Head to the side, hands, palms up, shoulders down. Take a breath, and as you exhale, turn your head to the opposite side. Take a moment there, just breathe and relax. Shoulders down. And then bringing your forehead to the floor, bring your hands in next to your head, elbows in toward your sides, and forehead on the floor. Inhale. Turn your face forward, lifting your crown. Tuck that chin back toward your chest, bring your shoulder blades toward your waist. Chest forward and up, come into a little low cobra. Take a moment there, breathe. Exhale any tension, feel the back bend, push the chest forward, crown toward the ceiling. Take a moment and breathe, tension out. And as you exhale, pivot your forehead back toward the floor. 
Take a moment there, just relax. And then pull your hands under your shoulders, elbows in towards your side, forehead still on the floor. And inhale, face forward, crown up. Tuck your chin back towards your chest. Put a little pressure in those hands. Come up a little higher into just a gentle curve. Take a moment there. Breathe. Exhale any tension. Feel the spine lengthening. Push those feet back, drop those hips toward the floor, lift the heart, and stretch the crown toward the ceiling. Take a moment in the cobra, feel in the back bend, letting the spine do the work, not your hands. And then exhale, forehead toward the floor. Take a moment there and breathe, just relaxing. Everything releasing any tension. And we're going to go up a little higher and we're going to go into up dog. So once more, forehead starts on the floor, hands under your shoulders. Inhale, face to the front, crown high, tuck the chin, chest forward and up. Press really a lot into your hands and pull your whole body up, lifting your knees off the floor. So from your feet all the way up, you're extending into that back bend. Drop the hips slightly toward the floor, but don't let the knees come down if you can. Up to chest forward, crown toward the ceiling. A little more of a back bend. Take a moment and breathe. And then drop your knees. And roll your whole body back all the way down. When your forehead touches, just take a moment and relax. And press into your hands, back into Child's pose. Take a breath. Exhale, tension. Let your whole body relax in the forward bend. And then inhale, sit up on your heels, bring your feet out in front, all the way to the end of the mat. So you're coming into staff position, sitting bones under you, crown toward the ceiling. Ribs in and up, spine nice and straight. Push out through the heels, pulling back with your toes, letting those knees get a good stretch on the back. And then activating the core, just slowly roll onto your back. Now as you come all the way down to the floor, just take a moment, incline integration. Let your whole body relax on the mat. Exhaling any tension. Sitting bones towards your heels. Press your back down, bend your knees, heels right next to your sitting bones, knees straight up. And we'll go into just a gentle little bridge. So push the sitting bones toward your heels and the back all the way to the floor, exhaling, contracting. And then with the hands next to your sides, just lift your hips straight up. Make sure those knees are straight up, not pulling out or in, but straight up and press evenly to both feet. Allow yourself to go up onto the tops of your shoulders a little bit more. You can clasp your hands underneath your body or just leave them flat. Lift your hips, reach the hips up, knees straight above your ankles, and then release in your hands, your shoulders, your shoulder blades, your ribs, and your spine to the floor. Bring your arms to T position, palms up or down. We'll do a little twist. So press your back down and lift your feet, put knees next to each other, and just roll the knees over toward one side at hip level as you turn your head toward that opposite arm. Shoulders are down, getting that middle back in the twist. Knees going as far toward the floor as they want. Remember, you can pad if you need to. And turn your head for that neck area twist as well. Take a moment and breathe. Just exhale and relaxing into the twist as much as your body wants. And then heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, and the twist to the other side. So again, knees next to each other, right at hip level, going toward the side. Turn your head toward that opposite arm. Keep the shoulders on the floor. And again, knees going as far toward the floor as they want, just allowing the twist to happen. Breathing deep, exhaling any tension. 
Allow the twist, never force it, just allow it and relax. Take a breath. And once again, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, coming into your final relaxation position. Bringing your feet to the floor, slide them out, each hip width apart. Bring your hands next to your hips, turn the palms up, and let those shoulders relax down toward the floor. Take a moment and breathe, exhaling any tension. Just turn your toes toward each other, let the hips relax. Feel that whole lower body soften and sink. Hands, palms up so the shoulders release, keeping the chest nice and open. Take a breath. As you exhale, just let your neck release, moving side to side gently. Finding that neutral position for your head and relax. Deep breath in. As you exhale, just let your body sink deep into that surface beneath you and let your body go. Just relaxing completely, allowing that deep integration of your whole yoga practice into all your muscles, relaxing your body and your mind. Breathing deep, allowing your body to release into that earth support and your mind just to drift, releasing thoughts of your body or anything. Breathing, relaxing, gently focusing inward, allowing that peace within to fill your body and your mind. Being peace. And if that relaxation is feeling really good today, just keep relaxing as long as you have time. And if it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and clearness back to the moment, to the womb, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. Breathing and stretching more completely whenever you're ready. And when you're ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation, sit your arms toward your heels, back gently down, draw your heels toward your hips, and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, let them feet to the floor. Pull over to the side and sit back up anywhere for whatever's ahead in your world today. Thanks for joining me.